before we do anything, um, yeah, before we do anything, I want to thank you all for being here. Um, you're the ones who keep us going. Your prayers, we just hop, and hop on them and find them all the way. Um, each and every one of you has a part in our lives that is just so unbelievable and just blesses us to no end. Uh, but before we get started, um, I wanted to do something I really didn't have the opportunity to do. Um, sitting in a car on the top of Hillcrest the, uh, the day we got engaged. So. <clears throat> I love you with all my heart. I know I didn't get an opportunity to do this the first time. And I'm not sure we knew what we were doing. <laughs> but we do now. It's been a long haul. I just want to ask you, would you do it again? Would you marry me? <laughs> Assuming that everybody in the room is going to give this bride away to you. So, who gives this woman to be married to this man? I never needed glasses before. Um, so, I have a question. Fred, will you have this woman to be your wife to live together in the holy covenant of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor her, and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her so long as you both shall live? If so, answer, I will. I will. Debbie, will you have this man to be your husband, to live together in the holy covenant of marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor him, and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? If so, answer, I will. I will. Okay, so... Um, how many of you have ever witnessed a miracle before? Raise your hand if you've witnessed a miracle. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm a good company. <laughs> so uh, th this is the highlight of my, um, my entire year, like from January 1 to now. Um, this is the, the, the most significant thing that I personally have experienced is the miracle that we're going to do tonight. And it, it, it's so much more than celebrating 50 years. It's so much more than that because it's the miracle that God did, Fred, in, in keeping you with us. And I witnessed it. I saw it just like everybody here did. And, and I'm so grateful to God for that. Um, so the, 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 the purpose is to, to redo this, to do it again. And, and the wonderful thing is that you guys have been such an example to everybody. Everybody in this room you have influenced. Everybody in this room you have touched. Everybody in this room you've been an example to in terms of how to love one another. You see, being in love and being married are two different, very different things. You guys are way more in love first, and then you're married. I know a lot of people that are just married. They don't have that with you. And so it's so valuable. It's another miracle. The, the, quickly, um, we all know about Ruth, and we all know about Boaz in the Scripture. And it just kept coming to my mind that you are this man, Boaz. You are this rock to everybody, to your family, to your church, everywhere you go, you are just a rock. And that's what Boaz was in the scripture. And then you have Ruth, who was this beautiful woman who had this great reputation. And they fell in love. And they fell in love by this woman laying at his feet in this room within this, where it shouldn't have been, but she was just there laying at his feet as a sign that, that she was in love with him. Debbie, that's you. That's what you've done. You exemplify how to love a man. 
and it is a perfect example. And we go on to read the story about Ruth and Boaz, and the beautiful thing, Fred, that I wanted to share with you tonight, brother, is that Ruth and Boaz have this great union, right, that, is, that leads to the greatest king that Israel ever had as a legacy. Mm. You are going to leave a legacy. Great men leave great legacies. Great women leave great legacies. You're, you, we're not going to be here for your 100th wedding anniversary, I don't think. <laughs> if that would be the biggest miracle in the whole entire world. You never know. Although you could be have a baby, and that would really just freak out. <laughs> you're, you're Ruth, not Sarah, right? So, I'm just making sure I got the characters here. But you're going to leave this legacy. And that's what Ruth and Boaz did. They left this legacy. They left this example. And they started something new. You guys have started something in your family and your friends as an example that will live on way past you. And tonight we celebrate that. We celebrate that. Okay. I have vows. Which I'm sure you're waiting for. We're not going to do the ring thing, are we? No. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> I've been married and you already screwed up the rings. <laughs> Thrilled. Yeah. Why don't you repeat after me? I Fred. I Fred. Take you, Debbie. Take you, Debbie. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better for worse. For better for worse. For richer for poor. For richer for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. As God is my witness, as God is my witness, I give you my promise. I give you my promise. Debbie, I Debbie, <clears throat> take you, Fred, take you, Fred, to be my husband, to be my husband, to have and to hold, from this day forward, this day forward, for better or for worse, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health, in sickness and in health. To, love and to, cherish, to love and to cherish until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. As God is my witness, as God is my witness, I give you my promise. I give you my promise. I pray in Jesus' name for this reunion that we have witnessed here tonight, Lord, and God for the days that they have. Uh, when they first were married, these, these coming days are going to seem like years, and I pray that time would slow down for Fred and Debbie, and that they would cherish every single moment of every day, that they would drink it in, that they would eat it up, God, and that you would slow everything down for them to enjoy what is left of living in this world. Father God, I pray blessing over their household, their family, and everything that concerns them, God. We are blessed people to witness this tonight. We are a blessed people to see your faithfulness and your love. Pray this in Jesus' name. Jesus Amen. Amen. I don't have much authority, but I agree pronounce you husband and wife. And you can kiss your bread.
for anyone but you. I swear, been through everything there is. Can't imagine anything we missed. Can't imagine anything the two of us can't do. that the little bit of pain that I endure, which is relatively nothing, is nothing compared to what Christ endured for us. Yeah. And uh, to 
just love the Lord with all my heart. <coughs> my whole family is too. And all my friends do too. <laughs> what a blessed place we are tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. God bless you all. Thank you. It's my job. That's my ministry. There you go. <laughs> it's been mine. But it, this wouldn't have been possible without just some dear friends pitching in and helping to all of you that are here, to all of you that provided extra treats for everybody. Debbie Morrison, who uh, gave up cake decorating, but she made one more cake. <laughs> Who coordinated this whole event tonight? I just think you are great. That's the biggest gift you could have given us. Thank you so much. This means everything. Thank you. We love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Okay. Get on with the party. <laughs> <laughs>